Just like when you add heat to gas, such as the air, the air molecules got energy, they started moving more, and they were farther apart. The same thing happens to solid matter. When you heat up solid matter, it will also expand. The molecules inside are gaining energy, they'll start moving farther apart and faster. I have a screw, which is a solid matter, and a washer. You can see that the screw head <coughs> fits in the washer without any problems. Okay? It's rather easy. I'm going to pick one volunteer. Seth, please come up. Seth, so stand over here. Hold this. you got to squeeze it because otherwise it will look wrong. I don't want you touching with your hand. And use the torch to heat up the screw. Even this metal, if it got hot enough, it could change to a different phase or state. If it got hot enough, what would be the next phase or state it would change to? Mandy. It would melt. It would melt. It changed to a liquid, and the metal could melt to a liquid. We're not going to get it quite that hot to where it will melt. We're going to have to put this on for about a minute to get it hot enough to where we'll notice the expansion. Now, so make sure that hole is not clogged. Why? As soon as I take this off, you don't want to touch the screw with any part of your hand, which is why you have the pliers. You want to right away try to fit the opening over the head. You have to do it kind of quick, because as soon as I take it off this torch, the temperature of the screw starts dropping. It's extremely hot right now. Okay. But as soon as I take the torch off and it just hits the air, the temperature is going to go down. So to see how much it expanded and see if it will still fit through the hole, you're going to have to do it immediately. If you're going to do this at home, make sure you have your parents doing it. I don't want you guys going home getting the torch out. Also, you would need to have your parents find a washer with the screw head that it needs to fit, but it needs to be a pretty tight fit, pretty close fit. It needs to just barely get through. It doesn't need to be snug to where it's hard to get through, but it needs to be really close to about the same size. Does it go in? There it goes. It took a while. Right away it didn't go in because right away it was actually had expanded. It was too, hot, uh, too large. But just a few, two, three seconds it was there, it actually cooled down enough where the molecules, once they cooled down, they weren't moving quite as fast and they weren't quite as far as apart. There was a contraction and they got a little smaller. You ready to try again? Just to prove that it wasn't just a, Mr. Coaster did just get lucky one time. Pull it out. Try it again. It's pretty tight still. <coughs> Alright, hold on to it. I'm going to go cool this down. Alright, Seth, I cooled the screw down with water. Go ahead and try see how easy it fits in there now. Right now, extremely easy. Okay, it would not do that before because we had heated up. The matter molecules actually expanded. This is one reason why when you go across a big meat, a steel metal bridge, you see the expansion joints. Okay? That bridge in the summertime will expand as it gets warm, and in the wintertime will 